pleasure to have you guys here. It has been a terrific relationship with a terrific brand, and I think in today's day and age in the agency business, the kind of loyalty and trust, you know, we always aspire to that, but I think in Barbara's case, it's been such a tremendous partnership that you know, from our commitment, but your commitment on your side is certainly matched and equal to ours, and for that we're very, very appreciative and thankful. So we wanted to recognize you today and get everybody here to take a toast. Um, Everyone who has touched and worked on the barber business, I always tell them, you know, you don't know how lucky you are because, you know, you got an A client and putting up that New York store and then the Boston store and so forth. So, um, but again, it's, it's really the relationship we've built and the trust and confidence is something that I think that we certainly respect and it's something we aspire to. So, on behalf of everyone at home, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. And really wow. give this to you guys in recognition and so forth and say thank you. And it says, Barbara, it says 20 years, valued partner and friend from Cone. So very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> great, great 20 years. Um, I guess the first time was Carol out at the shop show. Was it? <clears throat> yeah? Yeah. And uh, let's see, 1990, and it was Malcolm and I interviewing advertising agencies. And I'll never forget because. Uh, all the other agencies came in and basically wanted to have Tom move and tour the country and do breakfast and power breakfast and all this. And I said, well, when I quit in a year, that hasn't really done a whole hell of a lot for the company. <laughs> uh, so Carol was the first one to come in and said, we just want to form a partnership. That was great. As a team. And Malcolm said, that's it. And we hired him. an A-list distribution and the respect that people have within the apparel industry for the brand and it's just terrific. I think it's, you know, when I stopped to think when there was no women's and how hot the women's collection had been. And, and, there, there, was, and there was no distribution. And there was no, <laughs> and there was no distribution and so forth from that standpoint. But it's, you know, it's kind of in like, and, and, and I used to know Barber and used to have a lot of respect because they always came across as just so classy and back in my Timberland days from that standpoint. We didn't worry about them because they were a little bit small in those days and so forth. But even the big guys recognize what Barber has done from a brand standpoint.